Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? The sun. This is beautiful energy, the sun. Okay. And this is a little bit different here. Um, because in this in this sun energy here, um, there are two kids. So this is giving like playful energy. Okay. You could be a Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo, but this is actually really good. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The judgment energy. All right. So looks like there could be like a decision that you're going to be happy with here or judgment call that, that turns out in your favor or um, so it could be anything. I mean, you know, um, but it looks like the, there's a call to action here. You answer the call to action and then there's just beautiful sun energy surrounding that. So this is cool. I actually kind of like this. I, you know what? I, I don't think this card has ever come out when I've ever used this deck before. And this is pretty cool too. Cause like they, they're holographic. But anywho, the white horse is gorgeous, okay? So that, to me, is is giving, like, purity energy. And, you know, the red in tarot, the red color, the red robe represents, like, um, success. It represents, um, and, and, you know, these children are, are they, they look like kids, right? They're covered up. I don't, I don't want YouTube to give me any problems here, but... The, the energy here is good. It's that of abundance. It's that of you are protected, right? The white horse and the red robe is like with spiritual protection um, and happiness. So let's see what else here spirit has for you surrounding this sun energy, okay? Very playful energy here. Um, very playful energy. Childlike energy. Spirit could be saying you guys need to be in the moment, enjoying and be, be more in the present, okay? More in the present. Focus on divine and perfect health, okay, at the bottom of the deck. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon my perfect health and guiding my actions so that they support my well-being, okay? So Spirit wants you to take care of yourself physically eat better, you know, whatever it is you're doing, do it in moderation, maybe get a little exercise. All right, we have, yeah, look at this, guarded and protected. Guarded and protected. Can you guys see that? That's exactly the energy here that I was getting. Guarded and protected, you know, how they're kind of using that cloak to shield them. It's like that's your, that is your shield. All right, my prayer. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring me that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gracefully and gracefully. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. So remember, spirit wants to remind you that you are spiritually guided and protected. And forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Oh, look at this, you guys. It's like spirit is nurturing somebody. You know, you you might, you know, some of you guys, if you have kids, maybe it's, this is giving the energy of like, maybe you feel like you could have done better when raising your children, or maybe you feel like your parents could have done something better when raising their children, right? The spirit wants you to forgive your, give your, forgive your parents, forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong because you did the best, with, the best that you could collective with the, with what you had at the time. And I know what that looks like. I do. Um, for me personally, when it comes to my parents and, um, you know, my upbringing, people are literally out here doing the best that they can. And now, it does, now your best might be different from somebody else's best. You need to just know that, okay? Because I've learned over time, like, there isn't, you, <laughs> it's always best to accept people for who they are. And then the only thing that you can control here is the things that, how you react to something how you react to those people, how you respond, okay? So this says, I ask you to help me to let go of self-blame, forgive myself. Please guide me in the, um, in the releasing of any toxic anger and fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. Yeah. I mean, it looks like you're going to be having a center to at peace energy here with what I see is surrounding you. Spirit is saying, hey, like, put your guard down. You know, maybe you guys have been in this King of Swords 
queen of swords energy here where you're like i see you willing to set boundaries by any means necessary you don't have to do that uh i mean you should you know when you feel like it's appropriate but i'm saying like don't overdo it is all i'm saying okay that's all i'm saying you guys beautiful energy though spirit has her back they do. It's, it's There's a lot of childlike energy here. Even in this card, there's a child, you know. So there could be something happening here from your childhood that, um, you know, you haven't forgiven yourself for or you haven't forgiven other people for. Spirit wants you to release that and let it go and don't blame yourself, okay? You don't have to stay attached to that story anymore. What else here for the collective? What else is the collect? Thank you, spirit. Healthy choices keeps coming up. Somebody really, really um, it needs to be paying attention to what, what's going on with their body and their health, okay? Open your heart. Some of you all, your heart chakra could be blocked here, okay? Thank you for remo removing the barriers around my heart. Remember earlier I said king of swords energy, queen of swords energy, cutting off people left and right, right setting boundaries which again i'm not discouraging from you do it from you doing that i think you should do it but just in a healthy manner right so spirit wants you to make these healthy decisions and i think those healthy decisions have a lot to do with the inside of your healing but also your body and the physical so like it might be time for some of y'all to get in the gym let's read this okay healthy choices your angels are encouraging you to make healthy choices from your body, mind, and soul. Looking after your soul, your soul energy is one step, but having a balanced diet and healthy relationships will also contribute to your spiritual growth. You are a pillar of strength. Ensure you look after your inner light, okay? Angels are able to send us much clearer messages when we are in alignment with the three parts of our being, which are the mind, body, and soul. Choosing to have a positive, loving, and grateful thoughts is the first step. Looking after your body and what you feel is the second step. And taking care of your soul by checking in with God and doing what spiritual practice is the final one. These are all healthy choices that will help increase your growth. We're going to also lead to this sun energy too. So spirit is giving you the key to success here, sounds like, which is... I mean, we do have, like, <laughs> pay attention to your health here. Um, and I think that was on the bottom of another deck. But, anywho, that's a beautiful message. What else here for the collective? Focus on your divine and perfect health. So, you know, start a, have more discipline. Try to incorporate more vegetables maybe go for a daily walk or go to a gym or try out a new, um, I don't know, a new class. If you've never done something, you know, go to yoga class, go to, I don't know, whatever you like, CrossFit, go play basketball, whatever it is. Try something new that helps get you moving. What other messages do you have for the collective, please, Spirit? Thank you. Trust the timing and I'm sorry. Yeah, there is so much defensiveness here. Um, I don't know if you, I mean, just forgive yourself, okay? Um, riding past wrongs and uprooting defense, defenselessness. So I don't know if like as a kid, you guys, you experienced something with a family member or with wherever this was, whether it was in your childhood or it was in your childhood, I feel like in your adolescence, you know, um, there's a reason to forgive other people or your parents or maybe even you, if like your parent. All right. And um, trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on. Timing is not running out. Okay. So whatever it is, I, the first thing I got here, you guys, was like, it's not too late. It's never too late. Okay, it's never too late. So let's let's read this and see what this is about. Trust the time and look at that. I flipped right to it. Thank you, Spirit. Trust the wave that you came in on. Timing is not running out. So often those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time is running out and they spend their time worrying about life that they might miss their moment. But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about about missing it. It's never too late to answer a calling 
um, and you're never too old. Yeah, didn't I just say that? It's never you're never too old, and it's never too late. Thank you, Spirit. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't race ahead and ride a wave that was never meant for you. Stay in your lane, collective, okay? That's always, you know, don't be paying attention to, I mean, and it's easy to get distracted, but anywho, it says you'll waste your precious time and energy when instead you could be enjoying life. Everything has a season and you're being called to trust the one that you're in. Don't let impatience, comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. Like I just said, stay in your lane. Don't be looking to the left. Don't be looking to the right. And don't, honestly, you don't even have to look in the rearview mirror, to be quite honest. It says that it seems that everyone has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or possibly threat. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping our mind and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a breath and trust the wave you came in on, to trust the season that you're in. Time is not running out. There's plenty of time. There's no need to rush and it's never too late. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> it's about patience. I tell you, boy, patience will get me every time. I don't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I know patience is, yeah. Patience gets me every time. Hold on, I'm going to pull from this deck. Patience is like crazy, right? I was before this, in, uh, before this reading, I was feeling the energy of temperance. Like, I don't know if it was about balance or if it was really just about like patience. You know, but I definitely felt like it was going to come up in this reading. What else do we have for the collective here? All right. We have wonder. Sometimes it's the small things that are the greatest miracles. Sometimes it's the small things that are the greatest miracles. So this is like be thankful and grateful for what you have type energy. The greatest things, the the miracles, things come in big, small things come in Big things come in small packages. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't don't be frowning or turning your nose up to someone or somebody that doesn't look like what you think it should like or something here. This is giving the energy of like something not coming packaged like you expected it to or doesn't look like what it is that you would normally think don't do not judge a book by its cover okay there's still something really good and wonderful about whatever that is or whoever that is insight what you see depends mainly on what you look for okay what you see depends mainly on what you look for here so spirit is basically saying this is all about how you choose to look at things perception how are you looking at it? Are you looking at it in a negative light? Are you looking at it like the glass is half full or half empty? You know, that's really what this is saying here, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you, Spirit. What else do we have here? Yeah, I'll definitely get you some rose quartz or something um, or eat you some green foods or just do like a meditation, open uh, chakra, heart chakra meditation to help you because I do feel like, you know, this reading is for someone who needs to work on that. And then we have clarity. When you know what you want, the future becomes crystal clear. So guess what? <laughs> do you really do you really know what you want? Have you even spent any time really, really thinking about it? Like maybe write it down. Get you a journal. Write down what you really want, or just jot some stuff down and just kind of the first thing that comes to your mind and just like do a checklist and see like, hey, you know what? I did want that five years ago, but does that resonate for me now? who I am now, and if it doesn't, cross it off, or is that something that somebody else said that you were supposed to have, that society said you should have by the age of 35, or you should have by the age of 21, or you should be married with kids by the age of 30, like, you know what I mean, it's giving, like, that type of energy, you decide what you want, and how you look at it is how it matters, and that's what creates your reality, okay, Let's pull you a message from mermaids. Show me here what else. 
Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. You guys have abundance. You guys, look at this. You're just sitting back waiting. Somebody's waiting on their money to get better, or somebody's waiting for some abundance or new money or their money to get better, or waiting on a raise. This is great. Here's a treasure chest. You see how this mermaid is like sitting next to this treasure box, and she's it's open, and she's like, she's going very slowly. She's going through all of this stuff one by one, very slowly, and just just marveling in it i feel like let's read this this is good this is all about patience again you guys all right patience let's see what abundance says i like i like i like okay this mermaid is sharing her abundance with you the treasure you see is symbolic of the treasures awaiting you in their many forms these could be material or spiritual. The key to receiving abundance is to be grateful for what you already have. I think we just said that. It's also about knowing your self-worth as this affects how swiftly abundance flows to you. Do you believe that you deserve to receive? Answer honestly. If, if any limiting thoughts come to you, write them down without judgment and see if there's anything you can do on a practical level to shift any blocks spiritually or physically. I literally just said that before we opened this book, basically. Um, it's fine for you to ask for what you need, but always set your intentions as this is something as this or something better. That's a good point. That's a really, really good point because, you know, y'all know you have to be very, very specific when you're trying to manifest something like you really do. So this is a good way. Like if you're not that specific or you're not sure how to be specific, you can say, I want this or something better. Um, it says that way you're leaving room for the universe to manifest without limitations. Are you being asked to provide abundance for someone else? Is there a person or are there people around you who could do with a helping hand um, with the attainment of, of abundance? Perhaps you could use your spiritual or physical treasures to help others to see ways to enhance their ability to receive abundance in their lives. So some of you might have some gifts that you could be sharing with other people. It says, do you let money go through your fingers? Does it burn a hole in your metaphoric po your metaphorical pocket or your, mermaid or your mermaid's purse? Protect your finances by putting away some savings for a rainy day. Whatever your life circumstance, the energy of abundance is all around you. So prepare yourself for whichever form the flow of abundance will take and be ready to receive. Be ready and open to receive. I love it. Let's get you a divine abundance and see what comes out and then we'll end the reading all right that was a beautiful reading not all tied together you guys hit the like button for me and subscribe to the channel it definitely lets youtube know that you were here when you do that it allows the message to get out to more people what is the what are the messages here for the collective please thank you Letting go on the bottom of the deck. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Mm. I can safely let go. Beautiful. Individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. And, you know, we already talked about that, right? Like stay in your own lane. You're not running out of time. Things are working out the way they should be working out for you. And then we have expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Yeah. You have plenty of time and, and space. Plenty of time and space. So beautiful, beautiful energy, you guys. I love you. Um, hit the like button. That's your reading.